So let's just take a moment. So I'm going to guide you through a practice that I know. So Raj was asking about what Zen meditation is, and so maybe you're familiar with it. And so I just want to guide us through a practice that is, in the beginning, very structural. And so it's really about, like, actually, I think in Zaza, meditation we're often not totally aware that we have bodies and we only can actually meditate because we have a body as far as i know so no clear reports from later so so we're going to really hold a posture that is very grounded and again you can do this in a chair or even laying down if you can sit up that can be good and so we're going to have a position and holding our body and mind in a grounded way, a soft way, an upright way, and open. So those are the qualities that we're going to be holding our body, which we're letting our mind just drop into that space. So take a moment to just adjust your posture. So find a way to sit that feels comfortable enough. If your body is able um, to, if you're sitting in a chair and you need the support, please use the support of the back of the chair. If your body is a kind of body that can actually sit up in the chair, please do that. So find what's working for you. And also an attunement with your body as it is. And just take a moment to see if you can slightly tilt your hips forward, which may feel strange, but allowing your hips to go slightly forward, which does this really nice thing to your lower back, if that's available to you. And if not, that's okay too. And so that you're having this strong base of see where your feet are connecting to the ground and your sit bones, those round bones. And just take a moment to rock gently back and forth. And just seeing if you can feel your sit bones while you're doing that, which is so amazing. Like we have these big round bones there that we sometimes forget and allow us to be present. And so once you finish rocking, just finding your center, it's also a wonderful way to make contact with your sit bones and find the center of gravity where your body is. And again, just allowing your hips, if that's available to you, to be a little bit forward. And placing your hands for the time being, either just like on your thighs or in your lap. And I hold them like this, you know, which may be kind of fancy. <laughs> you know, that can be interesting. So your thumbs are lightly touching. And I find it's called a hand position or mudra um, of introspection, sometimes called the cosmic mudra. And then finding, so again, finding then put your, remembering how to use, use your hand. And, but for the time being, just take a moment and put both of your hands on your lower belly, about two inches below your belly button. Mm -hmm. 
where is that? And just notice what it's like to actually experience your breath just moving your hands there. So nothing fancy. We're just experiencing your breath. Deep in your belly. So that, that place is the focus of our attention and our breath. We're just gonna stay focused on what we call in the Zen, Japanese Zen tradition called your hara. And it's not just two inches below your belly button on the surface, it's also the, that whole area inside. It's almost like this seat inside of yourself. And so what we're going to do is just keep our attention there while I just bring some attention to other places, okay? So also taking a moment to roll your shoulders to realize that you have a body and wake it up, wake it up. We often hold so much tension in our shoulders. And just allowing your shoulders to be open and expansive. So soft belly, grounded, open and upright. So feeling the length of your spine up through the crown of your head. If some of you are familiar with yoga, often in instruction. So you wanna be really upright. And what we're going to do is just gaze down at a 45 degree angle, nothing fancy. So many kinds of meditation, we close our eyes. So I would just invite you to explore what's it like to keep your eyes open. What happens then? So we're just, we're doing this so that we can be again, grounded, soft, open and upright, and also really awake to what is just right in front of us. What is here? Where are you? So we're, I love this kind of soft eye gazing. So you're just gazing down at a 45 degree angle and just looking, but not staring so that we're learning how to practice just being with whatever it is. Sometimes it's a shoe, sometimes it's a piece of dust, sometimes it's a floor, sometimes it's whatever it is. It doesn't matter actually. And that's actually part of the point. No matter what it is, you can just stay there. So, an instruction for staying with the breath is, so we're staying with the breath in our hara. And then the inhalation, counting one. And the exhalation, counting two, and so on. In theory, you get to 10 and then come back to one. So it's just a circle. So it's nothing like you don't get a bonus. <laughs> you get to 10. <laughs> it's just counting. And the key part of the instruction, so you're sitting there, again, grounded, soft, open, alert, awake even. Sometimes. 
So we're counting. So one on the inhalation, X and two on the exhalation. So the instruction is each time your mind kind of falls into that river of thoughts and feelings. I don't like this. I do like this. What's for lunch? What's for dinner? Whatever it is, doesn't matter. I have to send that email. I forgot to do that. We just learn how to softly just come back up out of the river of thoughts and feelings and sit on the bank of it so that we're just counting one, two, and then we have another thought, and then we come back to one. So every time you have a thought or a feeling, we're not pushing it away. You know, the wonderful teacher, Shinra Suzuki said that, you know, it's just keeping the front door and the back door open of the house. So you're letting these thoughts and feelings come in and go out, in and out, no problem. So everything's welcome and we're just letting it pass through or like that river, just allow the thoughts. So taking this time to just be intimate with what's right in front of you. And the healthy brain, you know, creates many, many thoughts per second. We're aware of one or two. So if we have a healthy brain, lots of thoughts, the brain is just secreting away thoughts and feelings. And the beautiful part of this practice, why I love it so much, it's like, ah, I don't have to follow that. Or if I do, I can catch it and just pull myself out of that river and just watch it because it's also beautiful. It's also the river of things being alive. So I'm gonna begin and we can talk about it after. And we're gonna sit for about 15 minutes. So I'd invite you just to experiment with this counting and just moving away and returning moving away and returning and I invite you to do it like I do it, which is poorly. Because <laughs> it can be beautiful just to be like one, what's for lunch? One, what's for dinner? One. That's the point. The point is actually also how to catch your mind and not have to follow every thought you have. It's so freeing. And this practice is about freedom. Freedom of having to be a slave in a way to our thoughts and feelings. So I'll ring the bell three times to begin. And that's what we usually do in our center, which you're all welcome to come visit. And I'll bring it twice to end. So we're going to experiment. So I encourage you also to have an attitude of kindness and gentleness when you find yourself moving away. And so just gently and vigorously just bring yourself back. It doesn't have to be such a big deal. What would that be?
noticing where your mind is and just bringing it back to your heart, bringing it back to one, coming home, allowing your body to be at home. Finding a place of rest in the midst of your attention.
Just notice where your mind is and bring it back. Again. 